a young javelin prodigy hopes to leave his mark on the international athletics pitch and fulfil the dreams of 1.3 billion people. We don't win medals on the track, and here is Mirage Chopper trying to do that. In a nation that has been starving for success on sport's grandest stage, will Naraz Chopra collapse under the weight of his nation's Olympic dreams? Or can the 23-year-old hurl those dreams into reality by winning the country's first gold medal in athletics? Wait for it. Welcome back, I'm Lisanne de Witte, and while I've run many miles around the track, I've never even attempted to throw a javelin. But I know how nervous I was at my first Olympics, and for Neeraj Chopra, that first time was at Tokyo 2020. <laughs> India has a proud Olympic history with their men in blue dominating men's field hockey for decades, scoring 12 medals, 8 of them gold. Despite that rich history, India had only one individual gold medal to share between its 1.3 billion citizens. It was won by Abhinav Bindra when he upset the field in a spectacular shooting display in Beijing 2008. Before 2008, the nation had pinned their hopes for Olympic glory on Milka Singh, lovingly nicknamed the Flying Sikh. It had been the sprinter's dream to hear their national anthem played in the Olympic Stadium. Though he represented India three times, he never quite made it to the podium. In June 2021, the nation was rocked by the news that their Flying Sikh had passed away, just a month before Tokyo. All eyes were now on the rush. That's a lot of pressure for a farmer's kid who hadn't even seen a javelin before he was 13. Will the first time Olympian find a way to strike gold? He's very fast on the run up. Looking push forward, push forward, he winds that javelin back. Wait for it. When Niraj was a kid, he struggled with his weight. Knowing a bit more exercise might help, his uncle took him to a track where he picked up his first javelin. Not long after, he was a rock star athlete, carrying the dreams of a nation on the tip of his spear. So he put in the hard work. Unfortunately, hard work can often go arm in arm with injuries. For Niraj, it was debilitating bone spurs in his elbow. His only option was surgery. That forced the Olympic hopeful into an unwanted 16-month hiatus. In January 2020, he was finally able to earn a spot in his first Olympics. Even though Naraj navigated his way through a difficult injury, navigating pandemic travel restrictions was a different story. After Tokyo was delayed because of COVID, Naraj was finally able to enter some much-needed warm-up events. But on his way to the first one, travel restrictions changed and his visa was rejected. It took him three months and an intervention by the government to clear up that mess. Instead of months to prepare for Tokyo, he was limited to a few weeks. Would the stress of the travel complications sink his chance of Olympic glory? If he's going to do that, he'll have to get better, you would think. Wait for it. How much better? Better than Vetter. Try saying that three times fast. Germany's Johannes Vetter the odds-on favorite to bring home the gold in Tokyo. In the final, medal contenders each get three throws, but only the top eight move on for three more. Unfortunately, Vetter should have been better. The German, who routinely threw over 90 meters, didn't make it through. On the other hand, Neeraj, on his second throw, did this. A distance of 87.58 meters, first place, until the very last throw when Jakub Fadleg, within striking distance of gold, picked up his javelin. He has to throw 87.58 to knock Chopper out of the gold medal position. Not to add any pressure, but way back in 2017, Niraj promised on Instagram, I'm going to make India proud at the Tokyo Olympics. Could Fadleg claim the gold for himself, or... Would Niraj come through on his bold promise? Here he goes, final throw. No, 
he won't have done it. Mirage made good on his four-year-old promise and realized the dreams of 1.3 billion people. And when India's national anthem played, he fulfilled yet another, dedicating his win to the flying Sikh. And his first words to his dad after his epic win, I made my mark, Papa. He sure did. The Russian spirit will inspire the children of India to soar above any obstacles life might throw their way. We'll have another amazing Olympic story to throw your way soon, but you'll have to wait for it. <laughs> Do I try it again? Yeah.